I'll accord this even with... I, I will simply not tech up administrative past this. I will not tech up this. I will only take this religious... I, I will only take this. And I will, now I will start... I will move my capital here and uh, even though it will be ridiculously expensive I will dump all my monarch points except military now in this capital because it's temperate producing clock and whatnot and I'll keep it why is 100% corruption good because I get minus 20 minus 20 national unrest so I can annex ev anything I like if I don't have war exhaustion the rebels won't pop the rebels won't pop yeah, dip three. You saw that, right? Yeah, I, I'm. I'm a guy that theory crafts on on unorthodox. I don't know if you guys know me, Petros five six fifty seven and uh, Mushunkel, but I theory craft. I made a lot of after action reports, uh, and I did the same thing in an after action report on uh, that's on the official paradox forum. I tanked my these two decks. I let I played as Jangladesh. I let corruption raise as Jangladesh to fifty. I made a big economic power base. Then I said, yeah, let's expand here, form the Mughals, core all of this, even though with 50 corruption, but I got permanent claims, so it canceled that. And then I, then I said in like, I don't know, 16, 50 or so, I said, yeah, I got an economic power base of 200 ducats a month. Let's loot out all of our corruption now. And in 1720, I had no corruption again. And then I start tacking up like mad with study technology from the Diplotech 9 and the neighbor bonus. And in 1720, I had imperialism. I had administrative efficiency. And all my, all my techs were uh, balanced out again. So yeah, it works. It works. You can go 100 corruption and still, still be a greater power. Still have income and still destroy everything you want. <laughs> I'm doing it. It's on purpose. You will say you are crazy. Who in, it, who in their right mind goes to 100%? But yeah, I don't mind. I'm probably the only guy who <laughs> is crazy enough to, to do this, but I'll do it. So yeah, uh, I will stall this war until f I get called for peace and then try to get the uh, Ayutthaya out of my hair. Wait, what? Why am I losing money? <sighs> Why am I even losing money now? Um, fort maintenance? No, that cannot be it. I disabled the forts, right? Uh, whatever, I'm gonna make peace with the, with the little fry here. Ask for all his gold. Yeah, you give me all your gold. You give me all your war reparations. And you lose all your... Yeah, I want I want the, this guy to have a truth. Ah, uh, that said... That said... What if I say, hey, Lana? Oh, you pay for corruption. Oh, I changed it and... I, oh, that is silly. Yeah, sorry. I, I, I showed it off. <laughs> I'm sorry, Petros. I'm so sorry. I, w I showed it off. Uh, I'm, I'm very sorry. Yeah, okay. I'm blind. I'm blind. I, I didn't see it. Very sorry. So, yeah. Wh what about... What if I say... Uh, Muang Puang? What if I say... Will he accept it? Yes, you say. Yeah, I want this guy out of my hair. <laughs> I want this guy out of my hair. So... Uh, Lana will be glad, but they, wo they won't get trust, will he? No. Yeah, why not? Tough luck, Mwampang. I don't get I don't get the aggressive expansion for this. Lana will get it. Lana will get it. <laughs> so so bye. Uh, you you yeah. I was worried he he might join a coalition, but yeah, if I can feed him to Lana. If I can feed him to Lana, take all his gold. Yeah, uh, wait a moment. Wait a moment. Yeah, okay. I will get only 73. May I, I get a fraction of it? Yeah, why not? There, Lana. Thanks for helping me. I might even give you more. 
I might even give him more. Is it really worth it? Uh, what? Am I still paying corruption? Yeah, that did that can be. How much do I need to influence? Yeah, I'm a greater power now. Oh, I can afford it now. Okay, let's let us let us triple check at this again. So if I uh, annex, I'm an animist guy, so I, I take aggressive expansion to the roof. I gotta watch. I'm playing the coalition game really well now and keeping everybody on max relations and yeah who will be in my hair now? Hisenwi, yeah you will have a truce. Arakan, you won't exist. Ayutthaya, yeah I need I need at least 30 more opinion with Ayutthaya before I can safely safely piece him out. And Arissa, yeah I don't care you are you are already in coalition range. So yeah I don't want I don't want Ayutthaya forming a coalition with uh, with Orissa against me. So yeah, this is, this is really funny for me. So yeah, the animist nation, the tribal chief, uh, my my tribal chiefess, my wait what chiefess? Yeah. So my tribal chiefess says, yeah, we are now a tribal great uh, a tribal greater power. So let's inf influence. Let's use our uh, animist influence. Let's ask uh, Father Bear and uh, Mother Wolf to influence Aitaya. <laughs> this is so funny. Yeah, and I'll get 25 opinion with him. And and yeah, Aitaya might... But yeah, shouldn't I use it on Vigianagon? They might go friendly if I do it. It's not a given if I influence Vigianagon that, uh, that they will go friendly again. No, they won't. They won't accept a command. So let's see if if I am somehow able to. Uh, oh, I have too many diplomatic. Dip yeah, that's a, that's a problem. But if this would work, excuse me. No, 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 no. no. They still wouldn't allow me. Um, do I really want to ally Vigiana? I'm pretty sure I can take Orissa Bahmanis. With the help of John Pure. So yeah, this is my diplomatic situation at the moment. I am allied to Lana, I am allied to Shu, and I'm allied to John Pure. Uh, bit of luck. <laughs> and I'm gonna use John Pure to stomp to stomp Bachmanis and Larissa into the ground. Do, so do I really need nah, I don't need him. I don't need him. John Pure is like, I don't know, 100 k troops? Nah, I don't need him. We're checking though. How many troops do you have, John Pure? What idea groups did you take? Oh, 60,000. Yeah, they got they did just did a war, but what idea groups do you have? Offensive and economic and diplomatic and good idea. Oh, land fire damage. Land fire damage? Ah, uh, and infantry. Yeah, okay. Uh, what do you have? Oh yeah, I forgot. Orissa has land combat, uh, has infantry combat ability, and less shock. Ooh, yeah, Orissa, they, uh, they are kind of very good. Yeah, but something tells me that sixty k now. I, I would probably need. But yeah, I, I want to annex this guy, Arakan, because he's in, he's in coalition range also. I don't want to make a coalition, seeing a coalition of Orissa, Ayutthaya and Arakan. I don't want it. So yeah, I, I'm going to influence uh, this guy. So yeah. Father Wolf, uh, Mother Elephant, please go on Elephant. <laughs> please go and influence this guy. It'll cost me money, but I don't care. If anything, uh, wait, what? Ah, this is a tooltip bug. It says I gain money, but here it says I lose money. Yeah. Now they won't be in my hair. If I um, improve relations. I I'm going to wait until January and then check. So... Send the diplomat. Uh, 21st, okay. 
So, max out again. And who was it? I'm gonna triple check. Who was it again? Not, oh yeah, not, now, they, now they already say we don't care anymore. So Orissa, I don't care. Arakan will be gone. And Asan, we will have a truce. Yeah, I can, I can make the peace right now. I can do it. But I'm gonna wait until January just... Just to uh, make sure that they cannot join one. The coalition, I mean. Huh. Ah, oh, poor Lubu. How, how, how did Brunei get... How did Brunei get Holy War on Lubu? Wait, what? Huh. Lubu? This is really rare, uh, dear viewers. You see, Lubu usually gets annexed by Makassar. But now Luwu ate Makassar, and now they ate Kutai. Ha! Huh, I've never seen Luwu this big. This is this is really nice. I'm gonna make a screenshot of this. Luwan, Luwan Kutai. That is worth going in the in the street in the weird screen in the weird screenshot. Luwan Kutai. You never see this nation survive. There's even Bali. <laughs> yeah. Cheap. I'm go I'm just screenshotting it because this is really rare. Yeah, my uncle, I agree. <laughs> Someone might. <laughs> yeah, I know what you mean, my uncle. Thirty-six percent inflation, one hundred corruption, and debt tree. <laughs> he says, "Kind of funny how with a screenshot, someone might think this is played by a total noob." No, I'm not a total noob. I'm actually quite good at this game, but still, I, I'm a greater power with 33%, 36% inflation, 100 corruption, and dip tech three. Yeah, but it works. It works. I'm flourishing. Why not? Oh, there goes Ming. Someone attacked Ming again, right? Yeah. D Hello, Caradel. Oh, but this tells me if Caradel makes peace with Ming and takes this province. How long is my claim still? Yeah, okay. The moment Caradel uh, takes this province, I gotta declare Holy War on Ming. Then I gotta declare Holy War on Ming or I will lose my CB. Oh wait, what? No, 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 no. Ming is still here and they won't lose this anytime soon. Yeah, Ming might actually take capital here if he, if he gets stomped here. Yeah, this is perfect. Ming still has his province. He, yeah, I got Holy War on Ming. No problem. Um, yeah, I was gonna wait until January, but, but what do I even do now? You are maxed out. Pretty sure you won't... Yeah, well... I wanna max everybody out who, who might be pissed off. Yeah. I wanna avoid that uh, the decay of the improved relations will uh, be lower than... Uh, the decay of my aggressive expansion. This this triggers nations that are below 10 opinion over time. This triggers them to go into a coalition range and I don't want it. So yeah, next. You declared on... China's on fire. God. Once Ming explodes. Ming exploded on very hard. Ming exploded on uh, on very hard. Due to, due to getting a, a noble from Korea on their throne with the Pew mechanic. And when he took the throne... He got he took an, uh, he got a dynastic event <laughs> and he got another reclaim here. So Ming lost the mandate twice. And uh yeah, they exploded on very hard. It happened. Ah, oh, come on. Yeah, now now no, uh, nobody will be in my hair if I do this. Nah. I can't. Yeah, I I'll simply do this and then worry about what to do with uh so yeah, Arakan, give me all your dosh. Uh, yeah, you won't exist. Yeah, why not? Oh, Alpha won't. Yeah, I call. Uh, I was. Did I call them? On, yeah, I called them with favors. Pretty much. Pretty sure about that. Oh yeah, bye, Arakan. Fort? No, I don't need your silly fort. Not in a spot like that. Um, fort. Oh, and thanks for building. Uh. Thanks for building that uh, lovely church. Fort house. <laughs> yeah, I am annexing 
stuff that has buildings on it 